Hello everyone, how's everyone doing? So, lately I've been doing a lot of tutorial stuff, and I feel like I've explained every- Wait, hold- No, stop, 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 no! I guess we're doing this again. found one it's here so what you want to do in order to unlock the eggs is you want to go look for these little places as you guys just saw <laughs> it did take talk a while but we finally have a prehistoric egg so um let's claim it so this is the first way you can get the prehistoric egg because yeah oh wait a second um yeah, I, I, I was gonna put it in an incubator and then I realized I deleted my base because of Nathan L. Nathan L, if, if, if you're watching this, we still gotta do that 1v1. Uh, you, you promised me I, I was doing some bug fixes with it. Well, I was not doing the bug fixes. I, I explained some bug fixes. What happened <laughs> is that I challenged him to a 1v1 and he said, like, yeah, noob, sure. And then I was like, yeah. And now I'm deleting my base because they didn't like my base. So now I gotta place an incubator. <laughs> See, my base is beautiful. Are you sure about that? We go just gotta put the egg in the incubator because... Yeah, sure. We, we, we need to hatch it. Now we gotta wait for 35 minutes. Let's just go to the second way to get eggs. Wow. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Got an egg. Gotta wait 35 more mi uh, minutes to... <sighs> yeah. For waiting is the second day game's name because like all you do in this game is basically wait which is um it, it's not that fun sometimes so let's go to the third way we can go to worlds because <laughs> yeah sure and there's goods and stuff which wait no wait how did they uh dragon missions because like yeah we can do dragon missions for eggs and we can get eggs here like you can get a toxic egg right now but it, it is possible to get a prehistoric egg so you just want to Start and just select the dragon that you want because uh, yeah, if you want a complete guide um, here, top right, uh, enjoy. And we're back to see how, how much eggs we can get in 20 minutes because like the boss is another thing that you can get an egg from. But like, yeah, it's <sighs> disappointing. We gotta wait for 20 minutes until the boss spawns. Oh my God! Wow! <laughs> I've been searching for about five minutes now, but I just want to explain what I'm looking for. So you see these little areas with these mobs. You want to look for those, of course. But what is the thing we're looking for is a brown thing. And since we have got these patches where you can get the bones out of for the Sukai, um, it, it's really hard to spot the brown parts because you, th this map has a lot of brown things. So it's, it's the hardest map to get an egg on, but still, it's one of the most fun maps because of, of, of course it's new, but like, yeah. You just want to look for these pots with these creatures and you, and you will find an egg. So don't worry, keep on looking and there's always a egg in the world. And if you want to uh, unlock eggs like, really, really quickly, what you want to do is you can go in my Discord, link in the description. Uh, I'll open a VIP server, server soon again so you guys can join that so you have more chance of getting an, an egg. Oh, speaking of eggs, we just found one <laughs> that was... Um, <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> oh, no! No! <laughs> I didn't want it to die. Why did it have to go? This is such a sad moment. I was so happy for a second because like egg. But like my poor wasp. It was a gift from from a friend of mine and now it's dead. It's dead. Doink. Look, I mean these brown poops. Like, who decided to make a brown poop? I mean oh and left. And right. And left and right and left. Arifia, that's you? Sorry, Arifia, I did not mean 
to be harsh on you. I did not know that was you. I'm sorry. Jokes aside. Oh. Okay. I was gonna say jokes aside. Um, you have to be really lucky to in, in order to be finding eggs. I mean, like, they spawn random in the map with these spots. Uh, there is no glitch that you can spawn eggs. There's no sp certain thing or ritual you can do to make the spawn the egg spawn. Wait. The, um, there's no certain thing that can make the egg spawn. You have to be lucky to find them. And I just got lucky because, uh, oh, hey, we found an egg. But, like, um... Yeah, you wanna be lucky and just keep on looking uh, at the spots where mobs spawn. So I mean like, uh, wait, is there, um, like these kind of spots where the mobs spawn, you just wanna keep looking for those until you find an egg. Don't worry, you'll find one eventually. Okay, I don't seem to find any, any eggs. So, oh wait, the boss battle. Let's go to the boss battle. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. What is this? Okay, okay, wait, all up, all up. I'm I'm fine, I'm fine. There's no need to worry about me. Wait, we gotta go to the boss battle. I'm a professional flyer. I definitely know what I'm doing. This boss can't look down for some reason. But don't worry, I'm a professional flyer. Oh no, we gotta go up. We gotta go up. No! There it is. We can finally do it. Wait, we need to do something special for this. Because I've got... Wait, will we baguette? No, be gone. Okay, I've got the Melosol, which is the most powerful dragon in the game. It has all 10% stats, and it's like, strong. Wait, where is it? Oh, hey! Hey! How are you doing? I'm wondering which one is bigger, by the way. Is the... Uh, are we gonna beat it? Is the Melosol strong enough? Yeah! We got... Wait, hold up. Um... Yeah. Never mind. This was the toxic boss. We just wasted our, wasted our time. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, so that was a waste of time. Back to the wee wee baguette. And never mind. We don't need a time lapse. Okay. So um, yeah. Okay, guess we're good. We're lucky. We got an egg. We got. Oh no. Don't kill my dragon. No again. I don't want to have flashbacks. No. Stop. Oh no. I felt like the plane from Jurassic Park 3, where where they crash into a lot of trees and stuff. In that moment, that was um, not not my proudest moment in Dragon Adventures. Just just want to clarify that. Okay, I've been looking for some time to get eggs. You guys know how to do it, but I, I I'm thinking about just hatching them because like lobby. Yeah, let's see if we can get a um, dragon, a cool one. Okay, we got a Rendact, and I did not notice last time when I opened egg. It's just a name <laughs> beneath it, which is yeah. Okay, next next one we are getting a Rendact again. Okay, all we've gotten. In the past 20 eggs, well, I've, I've, I have gotten, it's Rindex. I am not lucky, and I've got off every single game pass. So, uh, yeah. Game passes don't do anything for your luck. Yeah, I, I, I noticed that the hard way. Okay, I guess I'm back in the um, prehistoric world, because we're gonna get more eggs. Just, uh, this time, I will really time-lapse. Oh, we found an egg! I'm proud, I'm proud. Okay, so we found another egg, and one more time. To be able to find these eggs, you just go to this spot. It's completely lucky. Just keep on watching the video because, yeah, time runs. Wait, time runs? Time lapses are so much fun. Yeah, okay. Let's go to the next egg because, uh, yeah, I've, 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 I, um, I've got nothing else to do in my life. I don't think I have appreciated this world enough. Just, I'm just gonna do a little fly around of this world and just uh, explain it what this world is. Because this is truly something different. So this world is a world that, it has a different feel to it. It has a little bit of a story mode, which is gonna come by the way. Dragon Adventures is gonna have story modes and stuff, Arifia told me. So, what the, what's so special about this world? This world is the only one that looks good in nighttime. I hate nighttime, but in this world, I don't mind it. Even for thumbnails, I don't mind it. Because like, the lights are so pretty and they, they make up for every single thing. And it would be nice if I find an egg. You're kidding me, right? I was I, I was looking for eggs the past 20 minutes. I, I'm not looking for it for once and I find one. Okay, thank you for the egg. Continuing for the uh, appreciating worlds. Okay, so basically this world. Oh my god, did I just oh my god. You're kidding me, right? Okay, guess we're getting another egg. Um not what what, what I was looking for. Well, technically I was looking for it, but like yeah, so the reason why this world should be really appreciated and why people, but why it's hard to unlock because it's something different. And Arifia did not want people to unlock this world, of course, and just speedrun it in a day because 
is basically what is happening then is you guys well everyone is just doing the update and it's fun for like a day or two and then it's like yeah but we need a new update and this way people can keep playing and we can keep doing update related stuff and just have fun with each other for the content creators it's better for players that just play the game for fun it's better for everyone it's better because it's so much more fun to unlock these kind of worlds it is hard and a lot of people don't like it but like you gotta realize that a lot of worlds and a lot of dragons you can obtain so easily and Arifia doesn't want that she wants it to have uh, to be like at least a little challenge since earlier with the toxic wasteland it was not really a challenge you just killed toxic mobs and that was it but for this world you have to get you have to go fishing you have to get every single dragon in the game you got you gotta level them up to make a little bond with them you gotta have so much cool stuff and I just want to say I really appreciate that you guys are supporting Erifia in this game. And I really appreciate you guys for um, for, for like supporting Erifia and stuff and for support, supporting me of course. And I hope you guys really enjoy this world and get as much eggs as you can uh, to unlock the Chronicles of course because the Sukui, a uh, little sneak peek on that, um, I, you guys saw, wait let me see, where is it? Um, Oh, I am... Oh, here. Okay, so this little area with with this um, Archie guy, we did it yesterday. And uh, I'm gonna do all these quests uh, like in one separate video. So you guys can see which one and which spot you can exactly get and how to do it. So what you gotta do really easily, you gotta just click these blocks to find like a key. Uh, which I'm not gonna do right now. Just gonna show how it do uh, works. But you gotta do that five times. It's gonna take five days to make this video. Um, that I'm gonna do about the Suki because it takes five days to do all the dig sites. I can't do it earlier I'm sorry for that, but um, You guys do need a video about it because it's it's really harder than you guys might think And I'm not the first with unlocking the prehistoric world and I'm definitely not saying I'm a pro or anything but like Franz he, he knows what he's doing and he told me exactly how this kind of stuff works and like yeah, it, it, it's gonna take some time and I was, I was hoping I found another egg, but basically, this is gonna be the end of the video. I know it's a bit different, this kind of content, but I really enjoy making these, uh, like, more edited videos more. And I saw in the comments and Arifia liked them more as well. So, uh, I wanna go to more of the funny, um, funny, funny side, but still do the tutorial stuff in one. And then different uploads, like different games. And I would really appreciate it if you... Oh my god, are you kidding me? I just found another egg. I would really appreciate it if you guys check my other videos as well. Because I know a lot of you guys have been checking out my videos. And I really appreciate it, of course. And yeah, I, I'm, I'm not here to ask for subscribers or likes or anything. You don't have to like, just... I, I, I hope you are having just an amazing day. And I uh, just hope you guys are surviving the current quarantine. I don't know how to say it, if you guys even have quarantine uh, at this point. Um, but like, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And uh, this is gonna be the end of the video. I know it's a little bit of a strange ending, but I just wanted to talk about you guys since the support has been insane. And I did not, I honestly did not think that I would ever get this far. I was expecting like maybe 50 or 100 subs by this time, but I've, I've, the channel has been growing so rapidly. So I, I just wanted to thank you guys. And uh, just one more thing, I'm getting a new setup soon because I'm currently editing with 0.5 frames per second. So the uh, video quality will be going up then because my video quality is not the best at this point. And I'm having a lot of stuttering in my recording because my PC can't handle it. Because my processor is at 99% when I'm playing Roblox alone. So yeah. It's kind of painful, but it's definitely worth it to make you guys' day. And um, yeah, I want to thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.